Interim head coach Tom Bradley led Penn State's football team into its game with Nebraska Saturday. The first time in 46 years somebody other than Joe Paterno headed the team. The Nittany Lions community tried to restore some normalcy to its campus after the school and its football program were rocked this week by a child sexual abuse scandal involving former assistant coach Jerry Sandusky. It cost the revered Paterno his job. In a show of unity in the wake of the scandal, the two teams met on the field for a pregame prayer. Brother God, there are a lot of little boys around the country today who are watching this game. And, and, and they're trying to figure out what the definition, definition of manhood is all about. Father, this is it right here. Not lost in the week's activities that marred the once pristine image of Penn State football were the victims of the alleged crimes who were remembered on game day. We are Penn State, no matter what. We're Penn State. No Penn State. No Penn State. No Penn State. No Penn State. While attempts at healing are underway at Penn State, it didn't translate to the football field. 19th-ranked Nebraska got touchdown runs from Amir Abdullah and Rex Burkhead in a 17-14 win over the number 12 Nittany Lions, who dropped to 8-2. Jim Militello, The Associated Press.